Hello and welcome back. And today I want to talk about QNAP QMix. Now the QNAP QMix application will sound incredibly familiar to a number of you. In its essence, it serves as a collaboration and time-saving tool. It's designed to save you a lot of time and energy and getting multiple platforms to work together and make sure that your data is in the right place where you need it when you need it. It is an idea that you take one uh, third-party platform or first-party platform and push data or information automatically to another one when a certain trigger is action. Does that sound fantastically familiar? Of course it does, because there's already an application out there that seemingly does this, known as If This Then That, or IFTTT. The idea of that application, and it's already been established for a number of years, is that you find one service provider, and then once that service provider performs an action that you've identified in advance, such as sending an email, such as sending a picture, posting something online, or effectively committing one piece of data to move from one place to another, a trigger is then actioned, which then causes that data or action or notification to be carried to another target. Now, if this, then that has been available via the QTS IoT platform for a number of years, but it comes as absolutely no surprise that after a number of years of using this third-party application on QNAP NAS devices, they've now integrated and came up with their own alternative, and that is where QMix comes in. Now, two main questions we want to talk about today. What is QMix? And two, what's the difference between QMix and, or if this, then that. Well, QMix gives you the ability to not only do everything that if this, then that can do in terms of um, if a photo is posted on a certain social media website or data is uploaded or pulled from a certain cloud source that that data and information is carried over elsewhere, but um, this QMix application can be used internally as well. So say for example, you want data once, uh, from e an email to be distributed to certain users and certain parties, and you want it to go to connected users of a QNAP NAS network environment. This tool would allow you to do that. It will allow you to upload one file to the QNAP NAS, and then copies of that file would be sent to individual users and their individual folders. On top of that, if you're using certain social services or if you're using integrated cloud platforms and even integrated social platforms, you can then have those actions, those posts, those pages, that data, that information and th those emails to be forwarded along the line to connected users automatically. And this also counts for things like snapshots too and small incremental data and big data too. And these are the areas where this differs greatly with if this then that. First and foremost, you can do multiple pushes at once. If this then that, call them recipes. Qmix calls them mixes. The general nature is the same. These are the things where you would say if source A performs action X, then QMix will put, send or perform action B to target Z. But QMix allows you to do it to multiple users, I believe up to five currently. So say, for example, you want one piece of data to be distributed to multiple users, it allows you to do that. And you can set these rules up automatically and never have to perform this action manually ever again, both within and external to your QNAP NAS environment. The same goes for if you want to do simple backups, because this is the other big area that QMix differs from if this, then that. Because it's made by a NAS cloud provider, the size of the files can be much, much bigger, and the size of the changes can be much, much bigger on the QNAP NAS platform than if this, then that. So QMix can make sure that integrated backups, small micro um, data or metadata or cache data, just small bits of information that you need this like sent elsewhere for long term records, which I appreciate is not as important when it comes to cache data. But long term snapshots and those image tiny Im image files, that you dis need to distribute it to multiple files are available to be done here. But so can the big files. And all of these tasks are lined up in the background. Now, this platform QMix is available with mobile applications as well as the desktop application. 
uh, available from QNAP. And these applications are also available in QNAP's own store, their own app center. Uh, you have to create an account with QMix, and it does involve use it, using a third server along the way to micromanage these tasks. It's very, very small, and your data isn't retained in any way. Now, whether we see this application being used in any meaningful way here in the West, it still remains to be seen. We still kind of hold if this, then that at slight arm's length. But I personally will be using this application because a number of the tasks that I do every single day involve me sending data to multiple different sources, be they backup or interested parties where, for example, like the applications like Hootsuite, when I do social posts every single day. And an application like this will allow me to, you know, have a lot of those links and that information, definitely some of the media information I use on NAS Compares, to be distributed to multiple sources at once automatically going forward, saving me time and, what's more important, saving data. So, for me personally, I'm looking forward to getting hold of this and utilizing and having a video ready for you guys very, very soon. But otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed this video. There's still a little bit more to come from Tech Day and do check those videos out. But otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Click like if you enjoyed it. Click subscribe to learn more and I'll see you next time.